Hebrews chapter 4, verse 12. For the word of God is quick and powerful and sharper than any two-edged sword, piercing even to the dividing asunder of soul and spirit and of the joints and marrow, and is a discerner of the thoughts and the intents of the heart. I want to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahushai, Bahashem, Rekahakudash, double honor to the elders and the apostles of Great Millstone, who rule well, who teach this gospel and push it, push this gospel to the four corners of the earth, peace and salutations to the hopeful elect that are scattered abroad, the Israelite foreigners, the sojourners, the speckled bird, the 144,000, the tabernacle builders, erectors, the carpenters, the crown jewels. Shalom. Now, Yahweh B'Shem and B'Shah just awakened me within the last hour. And I gave all honor, glory, and praises to him because he didn't have to awaken me. And, um, but he did because scripture says that without him, without his hold on us, without his hand on us, the hopeful elect, the aquas, which are the women, the sisters, our sisters, and the children, we could have consumed us a long time ago. Now, even people like to say things or make mention of, where well, everybody going to die. Yes, everybody is going to die to this flesh in the end of the end of all things, yes. So I don't know why you even make that statement because you are unlearned as to why I'm making that statement. If you die and you don't repent, you will die the second death. Now, that's what we really trying to avoid from the, from the get-go. So why spend all this time striving for the mastery and still not be in order? Because you will meet the second death. Sirach 41 and 4 says there is no inquisition of the grave. So the Lord is not inquiring of the dead. He's not looking for the congregation of the dead. He's looking to erect the congregation of the living, the tabernacle of David, the tabernacle of Dawada in ancient Hebrew that means city of the beloved. <coughs> Now, what inspired me to do this video this morning, as the sun is rising behind me, my energizer. <clears throat> now, what inspired me to do this video was a TikTok that I just um, uh, tapped on and came up. And when I saw the TikTok, the TikTok is a dance TikTok. So like Elder Manatazakba of Great Millstone, South Carolina 08 says quite often, all Jake want to do is dance and eat unclean food. Yeah, yeah, two-thirds of the house of Israel. We all used to be to that, but we have come to the knowledge of the truth that the Shemesh has bestowed upon us. We have been quickened, quickened. For he is the judge of the quick and the dead, where quick means to change. Now, <clears throat> it don't mean fast. No, that's not what it means. It means quick. And I mean, in a way, it could be mean fast as well, too, because the Bible says, um, 1 Thessalonians 5.21 says, Prove all things. Hold fast to that which is good. So good as in justified, righteous, upright thinking, bringing forth upright actions, bringing forth upright living. So it might be a little bit something to that, you know, but here in Babylon the Great, this is uh, a state of confusion because the word Babylon means confusion. 
And every damn thing here is backwards and upside down. So you don't never know nothing because you got to study everything because our entire society from the time you were born into this world to the time you leave has a bunch of damn confusion. I mean, so that's why it is important for us to study the word of Yahweh Shah so that we can find the correct order of arrangement of things. Then we will begin to change our thinking and we will get into alignment with the word of Yahweh Shah. Now we're going to get to this real quick. This is a TikTok. I'm not going to babble too much today. No storytelling, but because this TikTok is going to tell you a strange story. And when you watch this TikTok, I'm going to remove the sound from the video because I don't want to get a copyright infringement issue. Um, because uh, the song in the background is Mariah's Carey's Touch My Body. And you're going to notice something about this video. Now, unless you've seen it before and you research these individuals' channels, that's the only way you're going to know what the deal is. I normally will research the channel first before I start my video so that I can be most correct on what I'm speaking on based upon what I see. But sometimes things look like one way. You look at it, you're like, oh, yeah, that's what it is. And then when you research, you'll be like, God, I can't even believe that's, that, that's a duck. That looked like a cat. I thought it was a duck. Yeah, apply the example into the video and you will understand. Now, and we're going to get maybe, I only have two scriptures. Romans 125. Yeah, and if you know what that says, that'll, that'll further you into your thought process of what this video might be about. <coughs> Lock in. And we're going to get First Corinthians 6 and 9, I believe. Yeah, that's in there too. And we're going to pull up First Corinthians chapter 11, so there are only three precepts to be discussed. Okay, so now let's get to it. I'm going to take the sound out of the video. I'm going to loop it two times, and then I'm going to put the sound back in because the sound, um, when I take the sound out of the video, I'm also going to take the sound out of you hearing me with these scriptures, and that's the only important thing that we need to do for sure is to teach the Word. 2 Timothy 4 and 2 says, Preach the word, be instant in season and out of season, with all long suffering, which means patience, uh, uh, and instruction in righteousness, reproof or correction, right? So we're going to preach the word today, this morning. <laughs> now, let's take the sound out now. I will post the link to this video in the description box or on the comment board. I'm more likely to put it in the description box. The video comes to us from Eric and CJ. Now, Eric and CJ are two most prominent um, uh, male names of guys or men in the house of Israel, right? Wrong. <laughs> According to this video, that's not correct. So let's tune into the video. Again, the sound has been removed. I will post the link to the video in the description box. Let's begin. <laughs>
<clears throat> All right. Okay. The very what caught my attention with this video when I first seen it um, is um, this guy here is the very first uh, a sec section of the video, and I thought this was a woman. I thought this was a girl. Um, a woman. Incorrect. This is not a woman. This is a man. Uh, we're going to visit 1 Corinthians 11 4. Let's get there now. Right quick. The 1 Corinthians 1. Um, let, let's get there. <coughs> Every morning I wake and I'm a little congested. Every morning. Um, do uh, I have a D? Humid, I have a humid, not not a D. D means of not a humidifier in my room, but I have some plug-in issues with my plugs. I know some of my electrical sockets need to be changed out, and sometimes everything else in that plug will work all night as I sleep, but in the morning. My humidifier will have turned itself off, and it has water, and I bought it about two months ago from Amazon, so it's not an old piece of equipment, and it didn't turn itself off because it was overheating because it had no water to diffuse, so that's the socket, okay, so I tried my best, and at work, I work in a grocery store in a deli slash bakery slash soul food line every day at lunch time starting at 11 p.m. And the pagan holiday Christmas is the only day the deli is closed in here. The only day. Every other day is open. Saturday, Sunday, everything. So when I head off to work, um, when I head off to work, um, the, the, the heat the 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 heat from the cabinet the stove that we serve the food out of that we fix the plates out of it's dry no moisture heat because some um stoves like that have water in the bottom but the owls don't have that feature so it's not much dry hot heat and there's a heating element on the bottom below the food and there's a heating element and lights at the top of the food, so you get it all. I mean, you be like, damn, am I on a ship called Sun? <clears throat> and then I go back and forth to various coolers and freezers and where we keep the pies and the cakes, adding the cheesecakes in the freezers, and that's cold, very cold, non-moisturized air. So when you go back and forth, back and forth, back and forth, back and forth, you end up in the middle with 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 runny nose, post nasal drip, voice changing, voice not clear, and it and it, it'll be like this for me for at least another hour or two, and then it'll clear up a little better. Then my nose will stop running. Then my nose will stop. Then I'll just stop up. Yes. So let's let's go here. Let's visit First Corinthians, chapter eleven, verse fourteen. <laughs> And let's visit and see what Yahweh Shah has to say to us about this thing that we see on our screen, these activities and these actions and these mode of dress. Now let's get it here. <coughs> I really need to work on two prophecy videos today and get them to the channel and to the backup channel. And but in the midst of all things, I'm gonna go in and um, go in and um, I'm gonna go there. So lucky, I'm gonna go in and uh, do some reading today. Okay, so now, um, first Corinthians 7 14 does not even nature itself teach you that if a man have long hair, it is a shame unto him. But if a woman have long hair, it is a glory to her, 
so her hair is given her for a covering. Okay. And the new living right hand side, isn't it obvious that it's disgraceful for men to have long hair? And isn't long hair a woman's pride and joy? For it has been given to her for a covering. Okay, so nothing else needs to be said. Let's return back to the video. <coughs> <coughs> Mm. Take the sound out. Okay, this guy, the second guy, now he comes in the room with a purse in his hand. That didn't stand out too much to me because he could have been retrieving his purse for a woman or for his mother, and maybe they're getting ready to go someplace and whatnot. So that does not stand out to me. However, it does, it can stand out because by the fact that he's bringing the purse out and with all the other elements of the video, it could be he is trying to let the audience know that he is one of them girls. So to speak. Let me get my purse. Come in here and show these these foes. <laughs> That's the best I can do with it. Just show these foes how to do the darn thing, cause they got me. They got me messed up. I'm not one of them kind of gears. I'm one of these. Yes. Yeah, mm -hmm. Around the world, three snaps by you <coughs> 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 Now, so now, what I wanted to bring up with this guy here, that's a better picture, okay. Um, there is a particular type of color around his eyes. Now, I've seen that before, and I don't particularly think that that is a, um, I don't particularly think that that's a color. I think, you know, right below his eyes, his eyebrows, between his eyelashes and his eyebrows, it almost looked like a a, 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 a teal hue. Like, what's that color? Is that teal? Yeah, that's teal. Aquamarine, turquoise, maybe. And now that usually, that's either eyeliner or makeup. Or not eyeliner, but that's either makeup creating that color or that's him shaving but there is no hair on your eyelid so that has to be color um there's also you also see it on his neck around his adam's apple area it kind of looks kind of shaded and colored i don't know if that's a tattoo that he's covering up with something or if that is a um <coughs> or, or if that is a um a little coloring um uh, makeup i don't know i'll let you be the judge when you examine the length of the video in its entirety we're looking at our phones i'm i'm on my cell phone making this video and but hell um you might have a, a larger computer screen that will probably cause it to be more evident of what it is, either this or that. But anyway, um, that would be out of order, too, if it were makeup. Um, and it's also out of order if it's a cutting. But again, I, I don't, if I don't, if he's a Jake and I'm a Jake, if I don't have hair on my eyelid, then there could be no hair on his eyelid, okay? All on his neck. So anyway, now this guy, the only issue of the here issue here is his beard. He has a goatee, but Yahweh Shem Shai commands us not to trim or mar the edges of our beard. The word mar, M-A-R, means to cut, to trim. Let's get that.
Okay. Um, have some downloading issues right now, but we'll go with what we need to go with. Deuteronomy 14 and 1. You are the children of the Lord, your power. You, you shall not cut yourselves, nor make any boldness between your eyes for the dead. Leviticus 21 and 5. <coughs> <clears throat> they shall not make baldness upon their head, neither shall they shave off the corner of their beard, nor make any cuttings in their flesh. New living, the priests must not shave their heads or trim their beards or cut their bodies. I'm going to highlight it. Okay. All right. Let's get one more. Leviticus 19, 20, I believe. I think it starts at the 28th verse. <coughs> <coughs> you shall not round the corners of your head. That's tape up, taping up in the front with the clipper. The barber stands in front and he edges it up, makes it neat all the way around the ear, back to the nape of the neck. Most uh, tribe of Judah women refer to that nape as the kitchen, so to speak. Well, don't clean that kitchen up back there. Just let your hair, don't even touch it. Comb it out, wash it, comb it out, put moisturizer or grease on it, and comb it out and let it be. Yeah, it's going to look like two upside-down mountain peaks back there because your hair is going to want to grow down your neck a little bit on the left side and on the right side. This is the commandment of Yahweh, but you remember, Shai, we are the children of Israel, are the lot of his inheritance, his portion to give and dedicate to the Lord Powell. Deuteronomy 32 and 9, we'll go into that. Also, um, Deuteronomy 76, for you are a holy people a special people unto the Lord power himself because we are his portion, okay, of the nations of the earth. Okay, there are um there are um 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 eighteen nations of people on the earth. Ecclesiastes four sixteen, there is no end to all people, all to the people who have come before them, or the people that will come after them. Why? Because God requires that which is past Ecclesiastes three fifteen. That's why. Okay, now, let's get it here. Yeesh. Leviticus 19, 27, You shall not round the corners of your heads, neither you shall you mar the corners of thy beard. You shall not make any cuttings in your flesh for the dead, nor print any marks upon you. I am the Lord Power. That refers to tattoos. Okay, any marks for the dead refers to um, if there are any things that I'm aware of. You know how people... When their when their mother passed away, they they have a tattoo of their mother's name written on them. There you be. It's not hard. You can make it hard. Let's um New Living Translation on the right hand side. Do not trim off the hair on your temples, and on your temple that's taping up right above your ear, going back up, coming around the ear with the clipper, going back up again. Some people even go as far as um. Some people even go as far as getting a razor when they get home from the barber and putting a little shaving gel in those areas that they want even neater, more more cleaner than that, and shaving. You should not make any baldness in your head. If you're losing your hair, let it be. Don't go up there and say, oh, I got five strands over there and 12 over there on that side. I got, what is this gray white hair? Lord, I tell you, I look bad. Let me get a razor and shave my hair bald. That is unlawful according to this word. We studied that in Leviticus 21 and 5. Go back uh, uh, re and return there. Even in your Bible at home, return there on Blue Letter Bible, King James Version 611. Now, hell, you can even ask Google to show you Leviticus chapter 21, verse 5. And it's going to state the same exact things I have stated on this video here today. Do not trim off the hair on your temples or trim your beards. Do not cut your bodies for the dead. And do not mark your skin with tattoos. I'm the Lord Powell. Capiche?
I think that's all we need to cover here today. Video was to the point. Mm-mm, <coughs> stop. God dang it. Oh, I thought I had the volume in there. That's a whole video in there. They dance better than the damn women's. Damn. Now let's get this and let's wrap up. Um, let's get Romans 125. We can't exactly say that this scripture is going to hold water on their actions, like their personal relations, because I'm not aware of what they do outside of this video. But we can just imagine, I'm sure. Because there's enough individuals in error of that. So we're going to cover it for that specific reason. Romans 1.25 Who changed the truth of God into a lie and worship and serve the creature more than the creator who is blessed forever? Amen. Creature in the strong concordance means anything created. So we were created, the plants and the trees were created, the animals and the earth were created. Though we are all his creatures, okay? Creation. For this cause, God gave them up into vile affections, for even their women did change the natural use into that which is against nature. And likewise, also the men, leaving the natural use of the woman, burned in their lust one toward another, Men with men working that which is unseemly and receiving in themselves that recompense of their error which was meek. And even as they did not like to retain God in their knowledge, God gave them over to a reprobate mind to do those things which are not convenient. Let's get let's catch the twenty eighth scripture, because um, we can start the word reprobate and we have in the past, but we want to get a different version of that order of events. Since they thought it foolish to acknowledge God, he abandoned them to their foolish thinking and let them do things that should not be, that should never be done. Their lives became full of every kind of wickedness, sin, grin, greed, hate, envy, murder, quarreling, deception, and malicious behavior and gossip. They are backstabbers, haters of God, insolent, proud, boastful. They invent new ways of sinning, and they disobey their parents. They refuse to understand, break their promises, are heartless, and have no mercy. They know God's justice requires that those who do these do these things deserve to die, yet they do them anyway. Worse yet, they encourage others to do them too. Let's get 1 Corinthians 6, and we're closing. <laughs> I think it's the ninth verse. Don't you realize we're going to start New Living? Uh, yeah, we'll start New Living Translation, ninth verse, right here inside your screen. Oh, Lord. So, lock here for that. Um, I, I didn't realize, I, well, I had forgotten that my beat, my um thing was still down, um, my volume. Um, I just covered Romans one twenty five on down. Um, who turned the truth of God into lie and worshiped the creature over its creator, which is blessed forever, Amen. And I also stated the word creature in the strong concordance means anything created. So we were created, not remains hands. Beasts were created, not remains hands. Trees, uh, the earth itself was created, not remains hands. <coughs> uh, verse 9, 1 Corinthians 6 and 9. Don't you realize that those who do wrong will not inherit the kingdom of the Most High? Don't fool yourselves. Those who indulge in sexual sin or whose worship, who worship idols or commit adultery or male, or are male prostitutes or practice. Doom, doom, doom. Bop, bop, da. 
Wop wrong. The noise from Price is right when you when you when you when you miss the point. Bro, bro, bro. See that word? Let's highlight it. Let you read it. Or are thieves or greatly or greedy people or drunkards or abusive or cheap people? None of these will inherit the kingdom of the most high. Some of you were some of you were once like that, for you were cleansed, you were made holy, you were made right with the most high by calling on the name of the Lord Yahweh Mashiach and by the spirit of our power. Let's find our closing precept. If you love me, keep my commandments. Next closing precept. I hope this lesson and fine has come to the honor, glory, and power of Yahweh Bashim Shabashim Kaakudash. Sanctify them through thy truth. Thy word is truth. Make them holy by your truth. Teach them your word, which is truth. John fourteen six says, I'm the way, the truth, and the life. No man cometh unto the Father but by me. Psalm 40, verse 6 and 7 says, Lo, I come in the bottom of the book. It is written of me. I delight to do the will of my Father, which is in heaven. Double honor to the eldest and apostle, great millstone of the rule well. Peace and salutations of the hopeful elect scattered abroad. House of Israel, building the tabernacle of David. Shalom.